Well, get ready, guys, because one way or another, it's it's going to be a big, big, I don't know, cluster F for the American people, either the workers or the consumers, people going to buy cars, going to buy anything, as these 46% raises are just an absolute nightmare for all of us. Take a look here. Yeah, as we see this in industry after industry after industry, these 46% raises that all these industries want, we're just seeing this over and over and over. American airline pilots successfully negotiate a 46% raise. We see the UPS workers negotiate their massive raise that has led to UPS drivers getting up to $170,000 a year with, with, uh, when including benefits which is going to just lead to massive, massive increases in shipping for pretty much packages. And don't forget, FedEx is going to then need raises for their drivers. Don't forget, I mean, you know, FedEx isn't going to be okay with just, you know, making a lot less than UPS. And then it's going to lead to raises for USPS and, you know, the same old thing. And now the United Auto Workers getting ready to strike you can see here, United Auto Workers will strike against Detroit automakers if deals aren't reached by Thursday. Union boss says this comes as they want a 46% raise as well and a 32-hour work week. So they want a 46% raise and they want to go down to a four-day work week instead of five days, 32 hours a week instead of 40 hours in a war against Detroit automakers. And... Don't get me wrong, we all want our raises, we all want to make more money, and the um, problem is, is that, you know, when you go to buy a car and the average car payment for a new vehicle is $725 a month already, already, and the average lease payment is $516, oh, I'm sorry, that's for used cars, the average lease payment is $500. $86, up 11% since last year, and the new new vehicle payments are $725, what is going to happen when they strike or these car makers give into a 46% raise or they compromise and give into a 30% raise, 35% raise, or they give into a massive, massive strike? which is potentially going to happen. Ford GM and Stellantis dealerships brace for a potential UAW strike. Contracts expire on Thursday night at 11.59 p.m. So, you know, what do you do? What do you do if you're Ford, if you're GM, you're Chrysler, you're Dodge, you're, you know, Maserati, you're all, you're all these different brands under Stellantis, 16 different brands. And, um, you know, here's the other thing. If you're not any of those brands, if you're the other brands, like, you know, say you're Mercedes or Toyota, you know, Honda, any of the other brands, right? You know what's going to happen? They're next. They're next. And um, this, is a, this is a massive, massive problem. And guess what? Guess what? Um, all the other brands across all the other companies are next. Walmart's next, Amazon's next, any other company is next because guess what? All those people are going to want raises next. We just seen this with um, with Disney and all their employees wanting their massive raises and they had to go to the cable companies and request their massive raise. We've seen this with the, uh, with the cable company strike, the 10-day strike going to charter and to Spectrum to request more money. And why do you think that is? Because that's one large source of their revenue, and it's like ESPN, ABC, the Disney Channel, ABC Go, and it cut out Monday Night Football, and all that stuff. And it's like, you know, Disney actually employs like a million people or something like that across all these different companies. And guess what? All those people want their... 46% raises too, because again, it's not just Disney parks. It's like, you know, ESPN, ABC Go, 
um, all these different things. And it's just like, guess what? Like all these people want raises of, of all these different industries. And guess what? Amazon employees are going to want raises. Walmart employees are going to want raises. Starbucks employees are, are going to want raises. So the next time you go to McDonald's and a hamburger is like $5, you're going to know why. Because guess what? Like employees want, um, you know, $15 an hour. I actually seen a meme the other day here that said this. Uh, yeah, here's a picture of the meme. I just Googled it. $15 an hour for McDonald's employees. Say hello to your replacement. Yeah, it's a, you know, harsh but funny yet true type of type of uh, joke. And this is the sad but harsh reality is that, yeah, you know, you know, this is what's happening at McDonald's. And it's like, I'm not picking sides here, left, right, center, <laughs> top, bottom. Um, but you guys can let me know your thoughts. This is actually what's happening. It's happening at McDonald's. It's happening at Walmart's. It's happening at star, you know, everywhere it's happening everywhere is that, um, they're going to AI, they're going to self checkouts, you know, and some people don't like this. Some people do like this, you know, because in some cases you can just check out real quick. I mean, you can actually go to McDonald's and, um, you know, do, 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 and check out your order. And sometimes it's good because you can zip through the line. Sometimes it's not good because if you got a whole bunch of stuff, um, it takes a long time. It takes a long time. And sometimes you gotta, you know, if you're at McDonald's, you have to go through all the menus and you're like this, I don't know this menu checkout. You're like, where's the chicken nuggets? Where's the French fries? Where's the, you know, McGriddle, which we love by the way. Um, and you're like, yeah, it's, I have no idea where the stuff is. It's like, you just want to go to the person and say, Hey, I want a McGriddle, which is like those pancake, um, patties you know i used to like the egg mcmuffins right you know if you ever grew up on an egg mcmuffin you're like hey those things are great but now we like the mcgriddles it's like a pancake with the egg mcmuffin in the middle kind of thing it's really really good um and you know julian likes mcdonald's pancakes he also likes a happy meal it's like if you're a kid you get a happy meal with a toy it's just like it's like a little box of happiness you get you get julian a happy meal he's like oh my god it's the greatest thing ever it's just a, it's like a happiness of sunshine. Of course, he doesn't get it very often, but it's like, he just loves it, right? And, um, or you go to Walmart. Honestly, we do Walmart delivery, to be honest. We're just busy. I mean, we film seven days a week, give you guys the news. We like it. I like talking to thousands of people. I like it, right? We do Walmart delivery. My wife goes on her iPad. She goes, doot, 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 doot. And... That actually means a job for somebody because somebody is actually there at the Walmart store and puts the stuff into the cart for us. That means somebody is there doing that at the job at Walmart. So they actually put the stuff into the cart for us. They put it in bags and then there's like a DoorDash driver that delivers it for us. We tip them and they deliver it to our house. We actually don't go to the store because we're just busy people. We prefer to pay for that service. That's just who we are. You know, that that whole trip takes like two hours of time. I don't know, maybe an hour and a half time, whatever it is. If it's a big thing, it's like two hours of time. That's just what we prefer to do. And we would rather spend that two hours of time going to a playground or doing something else or spending our lives you know, my wife could literally be ordering that Walmart shopping while I'm filming, and then it gets delivered four hours, eight hours later, or the next day, or whatever, and it's just more convenient for us. And I think a lot of people are going to that, and it actually creates jobs because it's the DoorDash person gets a job, and there's a Walmart person who is doing the job, putting the stuff in the cart, and they have a job, but there's not a self, there's not a person checking out as much doing that job anymore. So I think jobs are just switching. You know, there's just different type of jobs. Yes, there's not a person as much ringing out people, but there's per there's people like doing the jobs, filling the orders, going around the stores, putting the stuff in the carts for the, I don't know, the delivery stuff. There's a lot more delivery stuff, okay? 
And then um, there's the DoorDash jobs. You know, they get paid the DoorDash fees and then they get the tips. I think that jobs are just evolving. I think that jobs are just evolving. And um, you guys can let me know your thoughts on this. Um, but AI is definitely changing. Some people like it. Some people don't. In some cases, if you got a small bag and you're going to the grocery store, it is quicker. You don't have to wait in a long line. But sometimes you go and there's a long line and you're like, oh, my God, there's seven people in line. I just have this small thing. When there's a self-checkout, you can just zip through it. But in other cases, when you're at McDonald's and you're like, hey, um, I have no idea what this menu is and I got to order for three children or something like that, it's an inconvenience. But on the other hand, you got to remember that these stores are doing this to keep costs down because remember when they put a screen in, it they only have to pay for that screen once as opposed to paying for $15 an hour over and over and over every single day for an employees. They don't have to pay for health benefits for that screen. They don't have to pay for unemployment benefits because remember that's a cost that I know this because I used to have 100 employees with my limo and bus company. That's another cost you have to pay. You have to pay that paycheck every single week. You have to pay all the associated fees, social security benefits and all this stuff. I mean that literally adds up to a lot of money. That computer could pay for itself in the course of I don't know, a couple months, right? And yeah, it may break down occasionally, but that's probably a very rare thing, okay? Um, and that screen actually brings costs down for you, the consumer, because you got to kind of think this through as a business owner. If they didn't have those screens, if all those were employees, your cost for the product would be higher. It Just think of this as a realist. I'm not thinking of this left, right, or center or whatever. If they were all employees, your cost would be higher. They would have more overhead and everything would have to be higher. It's just the reality of things. So I get that some people don't like it. Some people do like it. Some people are not sure. It's an inconvenience. But prices would have to be higher, no matter what store you're thinking about. I don't know if you're thinking about Walmart, McDonald's, or even just your local grocery store. This is just the reality of things. Now, jobs are shifting. So necessarily, yes, you might not see as many people checking you out. But those jobs are shifting. There are other jobs that are becoming available, just like we just discussed about. So I'll keep you up to date here with all this stuff going on. Uh, there's there's new jobs. They're just in different places. Let me know your thoughts here in the comments. Uh, if you appreciate these videos, don't forget to hit the like button for us. Share these videos. And don't forget to subscribe down below. It's completely free to do so. There's no inflation involved there. New videos come out here every day, 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Click here to see Biden's new announcement, which was pretty crazy, actually. Or you can click here to see what Putin and North Korea just did. Click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.